penetration. Got Baines to fall down. Manresa underneath had it blocked. That was Stevens. Great defensive play by Deshaun Stevens right there. Didn't go for the head fake and blocks the shot. And Steve Fisher decided, I'm going to call a timeout, get my players adjusted. Smart timeout right here. Ray on his five points in the second half. Three to go. Thames nearly turned it over. Williams, that's out of his range. And the rest of the rebound. That's not the shot they wanted to take right there. No, I don't think so. But I can't remember the last time Williams was on the floor this late in the game. Under 10 to go now on the shot clock. Here's D. D driving in, dished it out. Now Thames touched that last. There'll only be five seconds. Well, the prime player of the game brought to you by Donovan's. We have two of them here tonight. Chase Tapley, fifth time this season he's been at 20 plus points in a game. And Chris Manresa, fifth double double of the season for him. He was a game time decision with a bad back. Didn't start, came in 55 seconds in, and has 14 points and 10 rebounds. Chase Tapley is the co Mountain West player of the week this past week. And Chris Manresa coming off the bench. And Giving his A-plus performance. Keeping Terreros in this game. They're going to have to shoot it quickly. Got to get rid of it. Here's D launching over Stevens. Back of the rim. Ball is loose. Thames with a rebound. Well, he might have 10 assists and 10 rebounds. Terreros going to stay in this. they got to dig in and play defense now. Aztec's going to take some time off the clock. They need a stop right here. This is where the Aztecs are good in the high pick and roll. Franklin for three. You betcha. It's an eight-point advantage, matching the biggest of the game for San Diego State with 140 and counting. Nearly another steal. They're going to have to call timeout. Instead, it'll be called a tie-up, and it's going SDSU's way. Now that three-pointer might have just done it. Aztecs trying to get to nine and two. Man, Ressa with a foul up high. Guts the effort here tonight. Another foul by Anderson. Now you'll send the Aztecs to the free throw line for a one and one. Xavier Sames, 30 or 72 percent from the free throw line. This could ice it right here. It's an 11 point game. Now the Aztecs are going to have 12 days off before they play on Monday, December the 19th against Riverside, their biggest break of the year. 10 point game with 116 to go and a timeout. Steve Fisher. Two. And with their upcoming schedule, I, I'll tell you, it's. There's a good chance they're going to be 14 and 2 when they open up on January the 14th against UNLV. And there'll be a chance UNLV will be 15 and 1. That's going to be a great game. I'd highly suggest going to the ticket office to see if there's anything, you know, any scraps left. That's January the 14th. Steve Fisher, Mark Fisher, Brian Dutcher, and Tony Brown. They, they come on, from where they were last year, usually you have a dip. Aztecs have not had a dip at all. Now we're talking 43 and 5 since the start of last season. Kramer had it blocked. Under a minute to go. Coming up for the Aztecs, Riverside on the 19th. Elon before Christmas. Redlands and San Diego Christian. And then a winless Chicago State team. Terreros will not foul. Content to run out the final 34 seconds of this one. I'll tell you, San Diego State. Uh, they got a little scared in the very first half, but uh, they came out in the second half, pressured the defense, and got it going. Here's Williams throwing it up. It's loose. Norris has it with 20 seconds to go. Johnny D will pull up. That'll go for two if it counts. 
Well, there you have it. Six consecutive wins for San Diego State in this series. That ties the school record. And next year they'll have an opportunity to reset that record and win seven straight. Uh, teams played really well. Chris Van Ressa, bad back and all. Trails did a great showing tonight, but Aztecs just too tough, too talented. In the 84, USD 62, San Diego State has won six straight in the city championship, and that concludes the 43rd city championship. For my broadcasting partner, Jim Brogan, I'm Steve Quist. Stay tuned now as we send it to the Channel 4 studios, Jenny Kavnar and post game. And indeed, they change that last field goal back to two, so 57 36. Nichols to the hands of Drimmick. Drimmick gives it off to Marks, and those two freshmen will be a good pair to draw to moving forward mentioned any ball screen because Boise State has struggled so hard so badly shooting the ball any ball screen that screen for a guy with the ball they go under and dare that guy then to rise up behind the screen and shoot it as opposed to going over it and uh, and Boise State just can't take advantage of that because they shot the ball so poorly. Thames missed to the left Buckner to Nichols. That time San Diego State just switched the ball screen again because they have so many light sizes along that perimeter. Not a gimme. TCU's got a lot to play for as well. They've secured their first winning record since 2004, 2005, and looking at some kind of postseason play themselves. And remember, they, they've got two wins over two top 25 teams on their home course. Feeling, coach. Thames drives in. Nichols commits the foul. The we can go to be deep enough, and, and I think all of the top four or five teams in this this league are. Colorado State probably struggles a little bit, but we've been saying that about them all year. Lack of depth. And they they keep winning. I think you've got to be able to create offense. San Diego State, that last possession, Thames just creates offense off the dribble because I think at that time of year, there's no secrets of what team patient they are in their half-court offense. About how there, there are no, no more secrets and everybody knows everybody and they're well scouted and they follow them and they get to you know, see them on TV and watch the games and check out replays that, you know, what you coaches say is you know, Nichols misfires. Look at maybe one out of ten. Shelton. The Aztecs have played well in general. Jamal Franklin with another double-double right now with 18 points and 12 rebounds. You might mistake and call him Kawhi Leonard, who made double-doubles seem the norm for him. Kawhi Leonard, the record setting. Like he played for four. No, exactly. He played for two. Definitely good for three. Nice pass by Franklin again, penetrating, finding the open guy in the when perimeter. When you're the sixth man of the night, you, you realize... Mine's been a little bit of DJ Gay when he was a young kid for these Aztecs who went on to be one of the best point guards in the league by the time he was a senior. Not only maybe the leading candidate for coach of the year, and there's been some very good coaching jobs around the league, but at the point you were making, he commented on the part that he's been most impressed with one of them anyhow is that he said it's a team that doesn't panic and even when we've been down by 12 or 14 he said the kids they fight they compete they just don't take it that well this one's over let's just take our loss and move on he said they really have had a nice competitive spirit he said in some of those games that look pretty bleak we've actually come back and won well, this is the first time I've seen them uh, in person. Of course, I followed them, you know, through the course of the year. They came out tonight, and I thought, boy, they don't have much energy. Uh, it's just a team that has never panicked at any point. Go State's going to put win number 23 in the books. 23 and 6, 9 and 4.